is the best machine that is around anywhere in the world. The professional machine of the future. How would I describe it? I think it's fantastic. Awesome. It's going to skyrocket. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it happen. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga makes it happen. Amiga's got the guts to do things that you can't do on other hardware. And it does all the work for you. Wow. State-of-the-art technology at a price that everybody can afford. The Amiga is the best graphics machine available in the world today. Only Amiga. 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 Makes it possible. Only Amiga. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga. <laughs> Outrageous. Makes it possible. Fabulous. Only Amiga makes it possible. Only Amiga. This is it. Check, check, check. Any sound? Can you hear us? No sound. Huh. Totally quiet. I don't understand why. I see sound there. Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, check. I hear you. Okay, people can hear us apparently. You that, can... that actually was just a. What? Uh, what? They can hear us. That was a trick. Um, we were just uh, moving our mouths. Can you not hear saying us? Anything. Oh, you hear us. <laughs> that like, I, there was there was nothing there was nothing on my end that indicated that we didn't have any audio. I hear us. I hear us a lot loud and strong in here. You know, I don't know what that was about, man. Apparently, um, we're just we're just too much for YouTube. Uh, they had a they had a Google had to censor us. <laughs> they were worried. They were scared. Oh, you know what? You know what I didn't do though. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I put the music there. So yeah, let's start that again. Audio mixer, Majewell plus audio. That's what I messed up, guys. There we go. Now, now you got to hear music and us. The music's probably better. The music's probably better. <laughs> so are we? We're good now. Mic check one two. Check, one check, check, check one check, two. Check, check. Yeah. Okay. We're there. We're 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 good. We're we're on. 
I don't know why we had no audio. That was I don't know what that was about. Hard left, hard right. Oh, we're fine. It's it's fine. The stereo effect is strong. Oh, oh, you know, I'm probably in the left channel. You're probably in the right channel. I can fix that. I can fix that. Hold on. You should be in the left channel, shouldn't you? Well, What's that's that? true. We really want to be. Uh... Is that better? Is that better? Mic check. Yeah. Okay. So now, yeah, we're good. Now we're good. I uh, t I turned us into mono. Yeah. Yeah, because like, but on, in proper Amiga form, like you know, Paula chip, left channel or right channel. Mm -hmm. Like we were we're like demo sceners now, man. Like everything in the left or everything in the right. <laughs> All right, we're good. We are good. Uh, sorry for the rocky start, everyone. You know, it's things happen. It's live. This you know? is why I pay him what I pay him. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yo, David's here. Aztec dog, my man. Uh, Frog, McFly, Atari Revenge with no audio. Uh, Tony's here. Tony Rocks Tube, 10 Minute Amiga Retro Cast is here, doing great things every week on the on his YouTube channel. Baza, Zach Keith is here. George is here. Vicky Pixel Vixen, Razor XG, Jost 80. Everyone, what is up, man? It is awesome to have everyone here. Stereo, the stereo is better. <laughs> Baltoth, yo, 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 what's well, that, up, buddy? That, I, I can understand why stereo is better because they would be able to turn my side down. Yeah. If they didn't want to hear my horrible voice. All right, well, I'll tell you what. So, <laughs> so guys, the reason for this stream is that uh, Anthony is in town. He's here in New York. And yep. uh, I flew in just for this, and boy, are my arms tired. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So I was like, you know what? Like, once you're coming into town today, I got kicked out of my house today because my wife was doing a spiritual cleanse and she, she needed to not be like interrupted so i'm like you know what let's take it to the basement uh, i'll hang out with anthony we got plenty of time to hang out drink some beers do a little stream hang out with our friends and it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome this is our <laughs> spiritual cleanse awesome yes yeah. so cleansing we're cleansing with with the machine right there <laughs> so speaking speaking of cleansing so we are down here in in the place where i used to use the amiga all the time in, in the basement and uh, there is a refrigerator back there that was my go-to spot back in the day. And it's going to be my go-to spot right now. I need, I need a beer. After that rocky start, man, I need a beer. Yeah, because all, all I've had is water so far, and that's not, not a good... I got, I got a lot. I got Captain Lawrence Hop Commander IPA. I got, I got a Celebration Fresh Hop IPA. I mean, we're celebrating, man. It's a good one. Oh, and I got the, the Elysian Space Dust IPA. Oh, <laughs> Space <laughs> Dust. Space Dust, here we go. Oh, let's get some space dust going. Yeah, on. awesome. I, you know, I will. I will join you in the space dust. I and I do have an opener. Ooh. Here you go. Yeah, the Boom. church key. The church key. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pass the bottle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> awesome guys. Cheers to everyone who's watching, hanging out today. We uh, we have absolutely no plan for the stream. Like Anthony, I just want to hang out, and we're like, let's hang out and just stream it, you know? <sighs> oh, that's good. Cheers, everyone. Yo, Colin Wilkinson, what's up, my man? DJ Billy Nest in the house. That is awesome. Oh yeah, retro cram. Oh my god. Does he have a Commodore sixty four in the basement? Oh, I sure do. This, I've, uh, I've got probably a lot. some one somewhere. I sure do. Basement, the garage. The power of Amiga compels us. Yes, George, the basement does have a have a uh, have a toilet. Yes. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Yo, M V G, Modern Vintage Gamer. Cheers, my man. I don't Modern Vintage Gamer. Like his his name is highlighted. I don't know how he did that. That's magical. Yo, ENIAC, ENIAC vids. He writes oh, wow. more than we do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Adrian Krop. <laughs> oh, wow, this is awesome. Riot Retro Gaming in the house. Nice, dude. Oh, you had no audio after Windows 10 updated your driver. I had to reselect it. Maybe, maybe we did have sounds. Maybe we did have sounds and everyone needs to update their Windows 10. I don't know. Yeah, everyone update your Windows 10 audio driver. <laughs> so, um, so, Anthony, how's it going, man? Welcome going to good. New York. I've, uh, you know, there's been... It is freaking cold up here. Yeah, you, you're just soft now. Now that you're... <laughs> you know, it's what time is it? Four o'clock. Right now, I would be probably getting out of the pool. <laughs> up here, you're bundled in a in a heavy parka like you're climbing Mount Everest. I feel like someone's gonna find me frozen in the snow in the spring thaw. 
Oh man, well, well, speaking of the spring thaw, there's something really, really cool happening this spring. Dude, <laughs> bitch, it ain't my baby. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. I think he's popped into my my uh, my my Twitch streams before. That's hilarious. <laughs> the sex we got the sexiest man in Pittsburgh in the house. Yes. Um, so speaking of the spring thaw, there is something very very cool happening this spring, um, and you got the news of this um, much different than I anticipated. Oh yeah. So tell why don't you tell I'm the story? And I'm still very you know. <laughs> I'm sitting there one day checking my email. I'm just, you know, maxing and relaxing. Got a hurricane in my hand. I'm killing some of my brain. <laughs> and I'm scrolling through emails and, oh, something about the VCF, something about this, this I don't know. They, they, these, these Atari people think it's a big deal, 40 years old. I don't know what the big deal is. Atari was never as good as Amiga, so never as good as Commodore. So, uh... I was ignoring most of it, but I clicked this one email. I'm like, oh, let, me, let me keep an eye. You know, us Commodore people, we got to keep an eye on these Atari folks. You never know what they're going to do. You never know what they're going to say. You might have to be there, you know, kind of counter-protest kind of thing. Got to keep them in line. Yeah, got to make sure that they don't step out of bounds. And I'm reading, oh, it's a list of people who are going to be doing this 40-year exhibit. And I see my name on it. <laughs> I'm like, hold on a second. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold the phone. What the... <laughs> and then I'm thinking, who would sign me up for an Atari exhibit? <laughs> who could that possibly be <laughs> that I might be looking at right Maybe, now? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> so the first thing I, I do... Know, but I thought you were looking over there. I don't know. First thing I do is I crank out my phone and I text this guy. <laughs> I get. So I haven't even told Anthony like what I've done yet. That's and, not even told me. And I haven't even That's told him. That's how I find out. <laughs> and I get this text, and it's like there, there are, there are many four letters, four letter words in the text. I think I used every. I think, I think there are, there are probably people in the NSA right now, pouring over <laughs> that message for secret, you know, secret communique. Because you know, no one, no one said. Uh, uh, sailors are blushing down deep in the NSA <laughs> reading that message that I sent you. <laughs> yes, there were many four-letter words, and he's like, what, an Atari exhibit? Like, what happened? He's like, I moved down to Florida, yeah. and what happens? You hang out with the, yeah, the team he Atari. he hangs out with them once, <laughs> and he's, he's got the infection. I think I, uh, I came up, and that's the whole reason I scheduled this trip, was uh, intervention. Because obviously you cannot be left alone. Right. <laughs> he made an emergency <laughs> trip. So I think, I don't know if, if Metal Cod just subscribed, followed us on YouTube, or he followed me on, on Twitter, I mean on Twitch, but thanks Metal Cod. I, th I think he just followed me on, on, on Twitch, that's hilarious. This is like, <laughs> this is a, uh, th yeah, I, I usually stream on Twitch, but so this is, like, all my setup is just kind of crazy. I'm on mobile today, and there's still some things left over, that's hilarious. Atari Bill, you know it. Um, Wait. You know, oh, Riot Retro Gaming, that's uh, the basement, kick yeah. Him, kick him out. First rule, first rule of Amiga <laughs> Club, don't click Atari emails, says yeah. Aztec Dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, 10 Minute Amiga Retrocast might be in New York in May um, for VCF. That's awesome. So Tony has a great has a great question. What does VCF you speak of? So anyway, I'll, we'll finish the story. So I get this text from Anthony with the, with the F. I, I, I go down to Florida, and the next thing I know, you're hanging out with these Atari guys, and you get me signed up for this Atari exhibit. Well, here's, here's the situation, guys. VCF East, Vintage Computer Festival East, happens every year in the spring. Uh, you may have seen our videos about previous VCFs here on hey, our YouTube Paul, channel. How are you? We uh, Paul Kitching 3D. What's up, my man? So um, we, you know, every year we exhibit Amiga. Like we're the Amiga guys at VCF East. Every year and, until now. No, we are. Don't have no fear. <laughs> we are still the Amiga guys. Have no fear. So, <laughs> so um, I'm not so sure. I know about me. I'm not so sure about this guy. Last year we had a Genlock <laughs> exhibit. The year before, we had the Ultimate like, Commodore exhibit. The year before that, we had like, an Amiga 30 exhibit. This year, things are a little, a, a, little, a little different. Now, you all know, if you love Amiga, you must love J Minor. Father of the Amiga. Who's our daddy? J is our daddy. Turns out that J Minor is also one of the designers of the Atari 8-bit computers, which are celebrating their 40th anniversary this year. Which proves to you that everyone makes mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, Peter, great to see you too, I mean, man. I mean, Jay Miner had a redemption after, <laughs> after working at Atari. No, I mean, we joke. We joke. And I, and I saw it as the perfect opportunity, the way I found out to joke with you about it. It was perfect. It was perfect. So, so anyway, so what we are doing is it, to celebrate 40 years of Atari, we have teamed up with uh, Team Atari. It's going to be an amazing exhibit. They're going to have all the Atari 8-bit computers there. I think Pete might even bring his ST, but even though this is really about Atari 8-bit because it's the 40th anniversary. Um, so it's going to be uh, me, you, Pete Fletcher, uh, Dean, Bill Lang, uh, Kurt Vendel, and dude, Mr. Joe DeCure himself is coming to give a keynote and to hang out and to be part of our exhibit. Joe DeCure, also one of the designers of Atari 8-bit and designers, original designers of Amiga. So it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. And we're going to, we're going to get some juicy footage with Joe. I can't wait. So, um, what, Anthony, pull it up, man. Pull it up on the screen and uh, we'll, we'll tell the folks about our exhibit. Yes, Riot Retro, this is the exact um, festival where Greg Berlin came in to fight Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Vintage Computer Festival. Oh, here we go. Let me, let me pull up on the screen. Hold on here. Uh, there we go. Uh, You're still playing the music, I don't remember right? How to, I don't remember oh, how to. Don't worry. Just, we got Vintage Computer Festival. How to do full screen on this. Oh, uh, Command F, or I mean Control F, maybe. Nope. Yeah, no, that don't work. Uh, it's all right. We're good. We're that good. Don't hunt. <laughs> yeah. So Vintage Computer Festival East happens once a year. Uh, this year it is happening. When is, it's it's in May. It's the first weekend of May, just like the Kentucky Derby. Um, and we'll have our J Minor tribute. Oh yeah. So anyway, so the the whole exhibit is about the 40th anniversary of Atari. But Anthony and I are holding down the Amiga legacy. We will celebrate the um, we'll celebrate J Minor and the Amiga 1000. Right. So we're gonna have our 1000s there. We're gonna have this great Amiga 1000 set up. We're going to have a tribute to Jay. It's, it's going to be rad. So, yeah, it's, it's May 3rd to 5th, 2019 in Wall Township, New Jersey at the InfoAge Science Center. It's going to be, it's going to be mad. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be a good party. Um, Team Atari, they're awesome dudes. They might even be watching now. I don't know. But they're, uh, it's great. So wh why don't you click on uh, Exhibits? Oh, uh, David says F11, Michael, full screen for you. He said F11, full screen, dry F11. Boot, David Martins with the F11. Thank you, sir. An Aztec dog it's with the backup. 11 Fs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, Vicky has a great idea. She said uh, she hopes that we have a black Labradoodle or whatever breed Mitchie was. That's not <laughs> a bad idea. <laughs> that is not a bad idea. So what I was thinking of doing, I want to, let's read our exhibit here, and then uh, we'll, we'll, maybe we'll get some ideas for you guys. Um, the Nigel's scary like, part is now I, I also I now I notice my name is even f top billing on the Atari dude, exhibit you, somehow. You, somehow you're a top, you are the top billed man. Because there it is, right there. Forty years of Atari and the legacy of Jay Miner, Anthony yeah. Becker, Cape Coral, Florida, Pete Fletcher, Quakerstown, PA, Bill Lang, Somerset, New Jersey, Dean. I'm still calling him Dean N. I, I don't know how to pronounce Dean's name. Uh, Long Valley, Cola. New Jersey. That's Drew, his son, is going to be there as well. Uh, he's they're an awesome team. They had a great TRS-80. Um, show last year, I think it was, or two years ago. Uh, they're from a Long Valley, New Jersey. Kurt Vendel from Carmel, New York, and me, also known as Bill Winters, from Tarrytown, New York. Come celebrate 40 years of Atari computers from the 1979 release of the 8 bit Atari 400 800 during the Warner Communications year to the Atari Falcon 030. Pete just wants to bring his. his Falcon show off. Yeah, he, he, he thinks that <laughs> makes us jealous of him. <laughs> the last Atari computer product released in 1992 during the Jack Tramiel era. Uh, people show everything in between, including the Atari 8-bit XL and XE lines, along with 16-bit Atari ST series of computers. Also touched on. Well, it's not. We're not just going to touch on it. We're going to freaking we're gonna, smash we're it. Gonna it we we're, we're gonna touch it all over. We're gonna touch it all over. We're gonna touch it everywhere. Multiple times and smash it. <laughs> the legacy of J Minor from the display hardware of the Atari VCS. 20 slash 2600 and the Atari 8-bit computers to later being the father of the Amiga computer. His impact on these legendary machines cannot be overstated. And it, they have not updated that um, that Mr. Joe DeCure will be joining us as well. So I want to touch Joe's hand just because he's touched Jay. <laughs> and I've touched Jay. I mean, right, I think you've so all why seen... would you need to touch a hand that touched Jay when you touched him directly? Yeah, I don't exactly. I... <laughs> There's a lot of touching going on. Um, yo, Pitor, Chash Pitor. Oh, yeah. Now what most oh, Jost says the mother of all Unix demos sounds interesting. It does. It does, Jost. I agree. It's going to it be does. great. you got to come check I it out. I kind of wish that I, that, I'm, that I would have my 3000 UX up and running by then, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's a, 
it's a rough rocky road um, getting Unix back on that 3000 but uh, we'll see yo the future was 8-bit what's up my man great to see you you've been looking forward to this all week I hope it meets your expectations Sego I'm from Germany nice Sego oh no I was saying hello to Pitor I was saying chest to Pitor um, Germany in the house I love it um, Jay Miner, what a lovely night. Yeah, I'm sorry. My our chat is not like scrolling all the way to the top. I'm not. I'm not really gonna worry about it now because this is gonna live on YouTube, so they can see the chat yeah. on the side anyway. Yeah. Um, um, as far as the love of Atari, um, Jost, I love Atari so much. I own an 800 XL teleprompter, and I still have not turned it on. <laughs> I want. I want to see that prompter. Then, and you also have an Amiga teleprompter too. Yeah. Where is yeah, it? Here or is it in Florida? Well, Amiga teleprompter is easy. It's just the controller, a disc. The Atari one's a little more complicated because it's the, you know, the Atari itself, floppy drive, uh, and the and the controller and the software. I, I still have never turned it on. <laughs> <gasps> oh man, that's rough. I really need to break it out and turn it on. Who knows if it even works? I mean, it's an Atari. How good? How long do those last? <laughs> Yo, brother Bill in oh, the house. Oh, there's my brother in brother, his house. Brother What's Bill. up, William? I call him Brother Bill on my Twitch streams. Okay. Yeah, Brother Bill. He's Brother Bill because he's yeah. your brother. <laughs> oh, man. There was an old link, Steve Nix. I don't I There was an old link. Glad you guys are, uh, yeah, I'm awesome. I'm glad, glad you're here. Glad everyone is here. It's awesome to hang out with all of you. This is why we do this. Um, Germany, uh, Benjamin is also from Germany. Speaking, yo, Jay Keener in 1988. What's up, my man? Um, I didn't know there was like a new link to the stream. I thought you could go to like youtube.com slash the guru meditation slash live and, and it was just live, you know? I didn't could know there be, was that a new could link. be the Memorex stream. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> um, Jay Keener, how's it going, my man? Uh, Itchian, I don't know where to, so Anthony, here's what we'll do. Um, let me, I'm going to find, I'm going to find this link. I'm going to put a link to VCF East here, and then we're going to, we're going to start doing stuff. Um, all right. So I'm going to go to uh, VCF East, and I'm going to grab the link here. Uh, this is, this is the thing I do over on the Twitch streams. Like whenever I, I do an Amiga News section, we, uh, VCF East, there we go. I, I, I dropped the link in the chat, so I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it like it's hot right now. Um, drop it like a deuce. Yeah, exactly. So apparently there was another URL with a stream. Dude, I, sorry guys, I don't know how to stream on YouTube. I, I stream on Twitch. I, this YouTube, I like YouTube for the recorded videos, you know, and I like Twitch for the live streams. But, um, you know, sorry if there's YouTube gave you some like weird URLs. That's so, that's so strange. I thought if you could just go to youtube.com slash the guru meditation slash live, you would you would see it, um, yo, my chicken not raw. <laughs> I see the replacement keycaps campaign is live. Just checked my A six hundred and the keycaps aren't compatible. Sad times. Oh, dude, that is a bummer. That's a bummer, dude. Yo, Graham Cowie, what's up, dude? Graham, I think we're gonna play we're gonna play some Rygar today. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, Graham, you are Mick Geezer. If I'm not mistaken, I may be mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, you are the one and only Mick Geezer who made. Bomb Jack Beer, Beer Edition. Cheers, my man. Cheers to you and to everyone who's making like new games for the Amiga in 2019. Oh yeah. Even though so far I've not played any of them. Well, well you're I'm gonna saving, play. I'm saving. I'm saving. I'm saving it up for today. You're gonna. You're gonna. Yo, Marco Chiapetta, what's up, dude? Marco from the Westchester Amiga User Group checking in. Yeah, we got a meeting this Thursday. Yep. If you happen to be in the New York City metro area this Thursday at 7 p.m. The Westchester Amiga User Group will be having a meeting. We usually meet on the first Thursday of every month, but we postponed it a week because I couldn't make, make it last week. So, uh, yeah, we'll be meeting on the first Thursday, uh, well, the second Thursday this month. Um, it's going to be a great time. Yo, Oscar, what's up, dude? I actually it's have a 520ST with uh, upgraded RAM. Oh, that, another Atari I've never turned on. <laughs> Yo, Amiga on the Lake! Amiga on the Lake in the chat. Amiga on the Lake, thank you for the awesome 3.1.4 ROMs and also the, the floppies. Um, I'm, I'm digging them. They, yeah, they, they that's, rock, where, that's where I bought my 3.1.4. Unfortunately, now I had the working, I think I, I, I told Bill this story, I haven't told anyone else. I had a, 
I have a 4000 with an 06D Cyberstorm in it um, in a t L box tower case with the bus board. And uh, I had a friend who I met who actually lives near me in Florida. And he came over. I, I, I ordered my 3.1.4 ROMs from uh, Amiga on the Lake. They finally came. I know that there was an issue with a postal strike and it took a while to get them, but I yep. was in no rush. No big deal, right? It's been, so, it's been many years since it's been updated. So, oh, yeah. yeah it was so, an extra couple of weeks. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like no biggie. Um, I get them. I check out the machine. I flip it on. Everything's working good. My friend comes over. We open it up. Big, we're going to just have a day, hang out, do Amiga stuff, throw them ROMs in there, update the OS to 314, see, uh, you know, kind of kick the tires, see how it works. We get the 314 ROMs in it. We turn the machine on. We see that beautiful... You know, insert the disc. Ah, oh, everything's working. Oh, this is mm, so beautiful. And we're standing chatting, and I look over. The screen is garbled. I'm like, what the heck? Turn it off. Turn the machine back on. Green screen. Chip RAM problem. <sighs> so uh, boils down to now a whole day of trying to figure out what's wrong with this machine, swapping the chip RAM SIM out. All kinds of craziness trying to figure this machine out. Finally pulled the motherboard out. And I don't know what, but before I owned it, because I pulled the battery out as soon as I got it, um, something had leaked on the back of the motherboard right where the SIM sockets are. Oh. And, um, that machine is not working right now. Very upsetting. Got to bring it out to ASOL, man. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, this is either um, replace a SIM socket. I'm hoping just replace a SIM okay. socket and the machine's back. Not like the, the Berlin Special, which I think is an ASIL job of uh, recapping. Um, but uh, it, this could be, if that doesn't fix it, this is going to be a candidate for a, uh, an ASIL um, newly minted um, motherboard replacement. But that's, that's, that's going to be a project. Speaking, speaking of that... Um uh, Itchin is asking if you got your Amiga 4000 fixed that Greg Berlin looked at. No, no, it's uh, <laughs> it's still on, waiting. <laughs> it's still waiting. No, I mean I had a you know trip. Granted, you've been a bit busy with the personal yeah, stuff. Trips yeah, trips and and moving and everything. So now that everything is in one place, yeah, that that machine's got to get out. I got to talk to uh, to somebody about recapping it. Yo, the purple. I I can't. I don't have my regular mic. You're yo. Haze Maker in the house. What's <laughs> up, Haze Maker? Great to see you. Holding things down over on Twitch with the Commodore 64. Um, wow. Yo, Moshi, thank you, my man. Yeah, dude, we love Amiga. Andy and I, dude, Andy and I, 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 I should, dude, I might actually have the picture here, but Andy and I have been like hanging out in right here in this spot since, I don't know, what, 1987? Pretty much since I've known you. Yeah, for like 87. So that's why it's just awesome to be here. And we'll, we'll never stop supporting yeah, the Amiga. Never will. Sigs. Game Sigs. It's great to have you here, Moshi. Brother Bill. Brother Bill's taking a little vacay. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Amiga on the Lake, you rock, dude. Amiga, how awesome is it that we have an Amiga store in New York State? That is just yeah. freaking rad. It's the only Amiga store in the United States, and it's like it's like four hours four hours north in the Finger Lakes and the beautiful lakes in wine country. It takes wine as long and Amiga to get country. to Amiga on the Lake as it takes for me to get up to New York from Florida. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, oh yeah, dude. So a lot of a lot of folks are. Um, yeah, Joe Stady wants to replace um, all the hardware, new parts. You got like an Ultimate sixty four. I, yep. I need to get one of those Just, suckers. I, I got it. I, I put it into. Uh, unfortunately, the only case I had that. Um, that I could put it in is a 64C. In the 64C case, you got to be careful because uh, the keyboard mounts are on the RF shield, and they're actually kind of attached to it. And you can't really reuse the RF shield because um, things, components on the board are in different places, and metal, uh, in my opinion, gets too close to things. So I'm having to figure out... Um, you know how to how to get keyboard mounts in there so just to hold the keyboard up off the board right now i mean honestly not for nothing the the keyboard cable itself if anyone's knows the commodore 64 keyboard cable is a 
it's a very wide thing, and uh, right now that's holding up the keyboard. And actually, hold I got you can <laughs> type on itself. it. Oh, the wow. cable holds it up, and you can type on it. But I want to get something more rigid in there. And I know sometimes people have these three D printed ones, but uh, I just personally find it nuts to uh, to get to spend like almost thirty dollars on two pieces of plastic. It's like, uh, yeah. Yo, Robert Robert has a great question. Uh, he says, are tickets available yet for VCF East? Robert, no stress, dude. You can just like show up on the day and get your ticket then. Yeah, you I know? don't know no if they sell tickets ahead of time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think there let's are. Let's look. Right, we're, pre, on the we're on the site. We're on the site. We're on the site. We're live. Let's check the giggity giggity. <laughs> tickets. Online ticketing will be open soon, and there will be plenty of tickets at the door as well. So, yeah, no, online ticket is not open yet. But apparently they do let you purchase tickets ahead of time if you so desire. Or you can just show up. And, like, it's not going to sell oh, yeah. out. Yeah, it's Honestly, not going to sell out. Um, yeah, I mean, getting in isn't, you know. You know people. Yeah. You, you know you just, people. You just <laughs> drop our names. They'll only charge you 20% more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys. Yo, Brother Bill, this is not Anthony's 1200. This is my no. 1200. This is mine. I don't, where is your 1200? Is it in Florida? I imagine. I have one in Florida. Yeah. I have one in storage here for when we need it for VCF, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Um... Yeah, so I still have a presence in New York. I have a, a one one single room, a dark, dank room. It's not quite Das Bunker, but I uh, I ha believe me, I'll always have Amigas in New York. Excellent. Yeah, I mean, for when well, I have to come up and do an intervention with yes. on this guy and get the Atari out of him. <laughs> you should have seen me. I was in the holy water, everything. His head was spinning around. He There's was an talking exorcism. in foreign languages. Oh man, yo, brother Bill's coming to the meeting next week. Wow, what? brother Bill, brother Bill is in New York, maybe. <laughs> He'll come to the meeting next week. Wow, <laughs> yo, Benjamin Benjamin Bit says uh, today he got the bit box and discs of a game called Defender of the Crown. It's like a birthday for me, dude. Defender of the Crown, Benjamin, you are gonna love Defender of the Crown. It is like it's like maybe the first great Amiga game from Cinemaware. It's yeah. it made, it, uh, yeah, it made. It's not yeah. honestly. I mean, and, and I played it, and nothing against the, the people who made the game. I never found it to be a great game, but I always found it to be, uh, like, just the visual. I would play it just to see the visuals. Oh, the visuals are amazing. Jim Sachs' artwork is just yeah, stunning. Yeah, the artwork and, and the, the music is just, the gameplay always just, just drove me a little nuts, but I still love the game, and I bought, you know, that, uh, you know the the thing they came out with fairly recently the the sort of remake not really remake just repackaging right right yo amiga on the lake has got an event he says amiga on the lake says you're all invited to the first annual amiga os4 northeast get together in oswego new york june 14 to 16. dude mm -hmm. i'm i would totally go to that what what's going on uh amiga on the lake is hosting the first annual amiga os4 northeast get together in oswego new york june 14th dude that that is the day after my birthday oh wow that's a birthday that present. is a birthday present amiga on the lake i want to come that is just awesome nigel nigel i gotta i gotta see i got i got a house closing coming up if i can uh if i can finagle we gotta come off I'm my gonna, birthday i'm gonna hope it's i'm gonna hope it's uh i'm gonna hope june it's gonna 14th. be late enough that i can <laughs> swing in there Nigel had 20 Amigas and Ataris back in the day, everything from the 1000 to the 1200, the XL, the ST, and he has none of it now. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Uh, how do you oh, have man. none? How uh, do you have none? What not... happened to you? <laughs> it's all good, Nigel. We all, we yeah. all went through the... Well, I didn't really go through I never went phase. through that. Yeah, I never I went through it. I always... But 20, always 20, is, 20 is a lot. I mean, if 20, I had 20... 20 is a lot. I saw this post <laughs> from some guy who has over, like, 200 Amigas or something. That's insane. And there's, like, a point, I think, where it's, like, too much. Because you want to, like, like, get them out. You should let them things... You should you let, let them, them breathe. things roam free. Let them, let them breathe. Let, like, let in them the live. Serengeti, you know? <laughs> get it's one thing to have a nice herd, but... You know, if you have too many too many deer in one place, they eat up all the brush and they end up dying. That, I think, if you have if you have two three hundred amigas, you have machines that are just dying in a closet, True. doing nothing. True. Um, oh, brother Bill's got an amiga twelve hundred with a broken IDE pen. Yeah, he yeah. sent me pictures of it. He uh, and he has actually the same issue that I had. Similar issue, different thing happened because he had the same. He had the Data Flyer SCSI Plus, which is a SCSI board that goes onto the IDE header in the 1200. And it basically then has a cable that goes to that. There's that little punch out on the far right in the back. 
um, you punch that out and it has a 25 pin SCSI connector that goes in there. And I use that a lot. I used that with zip drives back in the day. And when I went to pull it off, I have a feeling that board has overheating issues. Because um, when I went to pull it off, it used a little riser, which was a female to male just to bring the header up so the board can sit up outside the RF shield. And when I went to pull the board out, a bunch of pins in the riser pulled out. Um, and I ended up, um, Amiga Kit actually, very few people sell female to male. It's a, like male, male, like gender changers are all, all over the place. But female to male, just as a riser, are hard to find. And I managed to get one and put it back in. But his, with, with his 1200, a pin actually pulled out of the IDE header in the board, which actually, from my understanding, is not a super hard fix because it's through hole. But it's still something. Yeah, it's all the deal. Um, what I've seen from some people say is if you can, if you can gingerly pull the plastic up, the plastic will come up off all the pins, and then all you have to do is try to solder like one pin back in, whatever pin is missing, and then push the plastic back down on them. But uh, yeah, that's a, a bit of a repair. That's a that's a that's a weekend project. Oh, that's <laughs> that's a scary. I mean. Uh, I just, I'm always scared at the thought of taking soldering irons to these machines. Yo, Jamie Morgan just games in the house. How's it going, Jamie? Jamie's an awesome gamer, dude. Jamie, Jamie uh, streams every Friday night here on, on YouTube, and he's, he's, a, he's a great gamer, man. He's got way more skills than I am. Joe, say, this isn't Das Bunker, man. This is, this is Das Basement. Das Bunker We're is das basement. empty. <laughs> das oh, Bunker is man. unfortunately empty. It moved south. And, and now my wife is constantly telling me that I need to finish unpacking all the boxes that that's, are that's gonna filling be a one of the that's a life That's a lifelong uh, <laughs> job there. Yo, Spitfire, how's it going, dude? Um, you know, speaking of VCFs, is there a VCF Southeast this year? There is. It's the week before VCF East. Because I went looking for dude, dates. Google that. Google that. I went looking for dates, and I couldn't find it. Angry Bar, you, Amiga does rule. Sorry if I'm behind on the chat. Um, sorry if I'm behind on the chat, guys. Oh, you have a gift for me again? I'm like, nice, dude. Nice, dude. Um, dude, this is awesome. It's awesome to have everybody here today. What, um, with the gender of the cable, there, and there, so there it is. VCF Southeast. In Hotlanta, well, Roswell, Georgia. Roswell. Roswell. I call it Roswell. Roswell, New Yo, Roar <laughs> Thorne in the house, dude. Roar, it is awesome to see you, my brother. Roar is very happy to see you. Roar, dude, I, maybe I have that. I think I do have the animation of, um, of me and Anthony that, that Roar made. We'll play that in a minute. Um, it is unfortunate that these two shows are so close together. Yeah, that's the week before, right? It's the 27th, 28th. Uh, yeah, that's basically the weekend before. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, man. So, I mean, so we've been... Guys, what are you thinking? <laughs> you know? The week before VCF East, you and I are going to be here scrambling to you get gotta ready. Give us, you got to give us a little room. Give a guy a little room. <laughs> you know? Let, let him get some work done. We got we to gotta get machines together. We got to get videos made. We gotta have me, you know, pumping iron, lifting that Amiga 2000. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think that was a good warm up for our stream. I I haven't. So this morning I had a smoothie around seven o'clock in the morning that um, my wife, also known as Wife That Device, also known as Olenko from Olenko's Kitchen uh, also known as the Warden, made for me. And I haven't I haven't eaten anything since. So, so this uh, Elysian space it's gonna dust. It's going to be hitting your head hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, at least I had a bowl of cereal and I had a, uh, a sandwich before I came. So, Roar, we are awesome. We're awesome now that you're here. Um, let's, well, dude, let's start. So, Anthony, you've been, you've been away for, for a little bit. You've missed a bunch of WOG meetings. So um, I, think, I think we should, I should start showing you like, what, what I've acquired, man. So, um, Do it to it. So there's a, a video. I, I had to go rogue for a minute while you were gone because Phil from A1200.net, he's like, dude, can you, like, uh, I want to send you our new keycaps. 
and, I, and if, if you don't mind, like, could you do a review on Guru Meditation about our new keycaps? And I was like, Phil, I'd love to, but I don't know anything about keycaps. I never, the, the last time I saw an Amiga <laughs> keyboard taken apart is when my Amiga 1000 was right over there. It was a, it was a WOG graphic SIG, and you spilled coffee on that <laughs> keyboard. And the G key would no longer function. <laughs> And we had to take that sucker apart and repair that the G key. That was some serious coffee. His that, mother, yeah. <laughs> his mother made. I was working twelve-hour shifts with an environmental firm doing air monitoring at uh, Triborough Bridge and Tunnel, and I would come to the graphics sig from being up from three a.m. in the morning, uh, and I would come in like a zombie, like The Walking Dead. They got their idea from watching me come to the graphics sig, <laughs> and I would sit there. <laughs> in Bill's bedroom, right, right up them stairs, like this, <laughs> like just, just staring at the screen. And then, I mean, his mother, uh, I mean, he's got the most amazing parents. She They'll be make, home soon. She would make this spread. You would have, they would have all kinds of desserts, and she, she'd make this pot of coffee. And, and she said, I, I poured a cup of coffee. I'm like, I gotta have a cup of coffee. I took that in my mouth. Boom! It was like a cartoon. It was like a cartoon. <laughs> I was like running in place. <laughs> Dude, you, the transformation happened instantly. You went Instant. from a zombie. You went from a zombie to like the Anthony we all like the hyper Anthony that we all know and love, and like in like a matter of like one second. Oh Pierre, yeah. Pierre, Pierre's here. What's up, Pierre? My man. Pierre, walk meeting Thursday night. I should be home in time for it. If not, it's happening anyway because Anthony will be there. Now, now the coffee wakes me up, but it doesn't wake apparently the G key and the Amiga One Thousand keyboard up. No, it it, it does the opposite. <laughs> so um. So yeah, so we did this. Uh, so I reviewed the the keys from Pierre, from um, Phil A twelve hundred on that, which are awesome. And you know, I was a backer. Uh, I backed the. I saw the the campaign for the CD thirty two colored case and keys, and it's really nice. It's like a, a black blackish darkish gray case with like light gray keys, and um, it came in the mail the other day. So let's open that sucker let's up. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. I'm and then gonna I, lick it. And then, <laughs> and then I'm gonna I lick got, it. I've got a pile of stuff I've been showing you. Oh, Dot Info <laughs> Magazine. Yeah, I oh, got dude. Yeah, take it. <laughs> Sniff it. <laughs> dude, Power Glove, Power Glove, one of the best games of twenty of twenty uh, eighteen. We're wireless, by the way, so I got I gotta be careful. Oh, I gotta get I got scissors to open up. This is my Amiga 1200. New a new case for my 1200. I know people people have tuned into my Twitch streams have seen me stream these games, but you know we're here on YouTube. We're today. not worthy. We are worthy. <laughs> I need to get a scissor. Hold on. Oh, I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. <laughs> yeah, Anthony's of course. Of course, you get later on in that song is wear high heels, suspenders, <laughs> and a bra. I wish I'd been a girly, just like my dear papa. <laughs> For all the Monty Python fans out there, one of my favorite shows. It's one of the best. Solid Gold, do a dark secret will be revealed. Dude, Solid Gold was a surprise I got from uh, Amiga.net. Solid Gold is a game that was made in Poland, like my wife. And Tiger Claw. Oh, Dude, you get the Tiger Claw. Dude, listen. You need you need to open up you need to open up the Tiger Claw like and and the Power Glove and check out the packaging on these games. There we go. That this magazine was one of my favorites back in the day. I got tons of issues of it. I was so sad. This this magazine ended real early, unfortunately. There were there was some kind of issues uh, with it. Oh. What else is in I need, I need to put you on, on camera operating on duty, so I when Oh, I whoa. Thing. Oh, here's some real that's Worthy. What, that's what Worthy came in. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, the coffee sounds terrifying, F.S. Phil. Um, Amiga oh, I got yeah. to open these up. Yeah, dude. Hold on. Let's. Uh, oh. Let me, oh, hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Oh, let me, man. Let me get the oh, whoa. Let me whoa. Get the, all right. <laughs> you're jump, you're this, jumping the gun. Actually, you, I, you know what? I, I don't know if we could open this up on camera. Why is that? This this may be illegal in New York. <laughs> <laughs> true, this may true. be illegal in New York. Roar is very I don't happy know. to see you. Um, we may have to dim the lights. All right, hold on here. Let's let me switch. Let me switch uh, scenes here. Let me just catch up on the chat really, really quick, and then we're gonna start opening stuff up. Um, 
Pierre, yeah, my the, the article about my dad was awesome. Thanks, dude. That coffee was awesome. FSU. I gotta find that magazine while I'm up here and pick that up. Vicky, Vicky, dude, Vicky, it's so ha awesome to have you here. Um, it'd be awesome if Maddie came back, man. That'd be awesome. If she's always welcome here anytime. Yeah, we definitely. It, yesterday was International Women's Day. My wife and I went out, dude. I was at a dinner. I was at a Turkish dinner with like eight different with eight women. It was pretty. It was pretty amazing. I was. <laughs> I celebrated International Women's Day well. <laughs> um, but thank you for being here, Vicky. You are awesome. It's, it's awesome to have you here. And thanks for always coming into the Twitch streams. And thanks for making amazing Amiga art and deluxe paint. She's a woman after my own heart. She's a D-Paint master. You got to check out some of her stuff. It's awesome. Um, Vicky, if you want to throw a link to your YouTube channel down, go for it. Go for it. Everyone needs to watch your YouTubes. They're awesome. Your YouTubes. The, 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 the freaking space dust is kicking out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your YouTubes are good, man. Yeah. Watch your YouTubes. She's <laughs> got amazing YouTube. Um, <laughs> yeah, Roar, awesome to see you, too. Um, yeah, let's... You two are worthy? I don't know about that. Switch oh, to, we'll yeah. be showing bigger pictures. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going We'll bigger. let you see it better. This, that, was the, that was a little taste, a little nugget. That was we'll give a, you a little taste. This is that, And then we're going to go to commercial. No, no commercials yet. <laughs> we'll, we'll go commercial. We're going to go to commercial. Yo, you Alexander know, Mejita, so you how's it you going? You don't see him well until after the commercial. That's, I mean, it's a standard TV thing. Vicky, oh, Turkish dinner was amazing. And then uh, our close friend Tava is a belly dancer, so there was plenty of belly dancing happening last night. It was, it was awesome. A Alexander Mejita, what's up, my man? Alexander, it's great to see you. Dude, Alexander, you, I, I wish you could come back. Alexander was here in New York. He cool. made a freaking a VR arcade game. It's called uh, Starship Commander. Mm -hmm. It's a sweet game. It's like... It's uh, it's an amazing game. <laughs> it's so good. And he was in New York for the for the launch of it. He's cool. going to be at PAX East, man, up in Beantown, coming up soon, sometime this spring. Uh, hello, yeah, what's up, Germany? Vicky, no need to be shy. Yo, I'll call Cali. Oh, Cali Astro in the, his house. What's up, Amiga friends around the world? I used to make mods uh, catch TTL2 on Aminet. Oh, not, we're gonna do we're gonna play some with some mods in a minute. Um, let's go, yeah, let's go to, um, let's try this. Does this work? Yeah, there we go. So, all right, I'll camera operate. So, guys, I've, I've already opened these, obviously, on my, on my Twitch streams, but Anthony hasn't seen these yet. Um, whoa, whoa, hold on, let me tilt up here. Sorry for the bad camera work. I, these webcam, why is it tilting down? Um, he's a professional. Yeah, I'm a pro. So, yeah, you, <laughs> there's something you want to open here. Well, I'm going to open this one first. Because this is probably the one that won't get us arrested. So P Power Glove was made by uh, Lazy Cow and uh, RGCD. Check out the packaging on these games. It's got some buttons. Got some buttons. You got oh look at this floppy's well protected a little zippy little zippy bag. Anti-static zip let's bag. Zippy that guy back up. Ooh nice. It's, I love the real floppy. Do open that up man. Show them the, show them the label. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, all right. All right. We're gonna show it. Oh wow. Oh, there's more stuff down here. Oh, there, dude, it is. It is packed and stacked. Some stickers. Lazy Cow is the guy who made the game. Is he's awesome. Power so Power Glove was a Commodore 64 game, and they last year they came out with Power Glove Reloaded, which is the Amiga version, and it, it's awesome. <laughs> it's so Here's good. The manual. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's something you don't get anymore. All these days of Steam and Origin and all these electronic things, you get nothing. I mean, got to keep questions and answers. Look at that. It is top notch. Postcard it is suitable for sending to your Amiga friends. I can send it to Florida. Saying, <laughs> I wish, wish you were here. Yeah. Sorry for the delay on the webcam. I mean, I feel sorry for me because it makes it harder <laughs> to operate it. Here we go. We suck it out of the bag. Oh, yeah. Taking it out of that bag is, is no easy chore. Let me get let me get a better picture. My God, the delay is like crazy. I'm just gonna use the force. I'm just gonna use the force. This packaging is crazy. Yo, Hazemaker is having a keygasm about the power glove because Hazemaker is a Commodore 64 guy, so he knows it. Um, oh, look at this! Even more stuff. That's the uh, what the CD32 ver version, or I, actually, it might just be a regular CD. I don't remember. If you want to play it, man, we'll play some power glove. Pop in that floppy. It says system requirement of 500 with one meg RAM, bootable for floppy and CD, HD installable in the system. So, I guess you could throw this in a CD32. But yeah, it's a CD-ROM. These, these, um, yeah, it was awesome. I, I uh, streamed these games on launch day. They're pretty, they're pretty badass. 
rgcd.com is where you can buy these games. From Lazy Cat. Oh, he's going on it right now. <laughs> Do it. Hang on, I gotta put my order in. Can we uh, can we pause the uh, pause the stream so I can put my order in? <laughs> you would go to government auction, auctions and buy uh, pallets of computers, fix them, and sell them. Oh, nice, Nigel. That's awesome. Uh, RGCD. Are you sure that's the site? Alexander would get upset if uh, if we ever sent the postcard. The Commodore Amiga logo is awesome, right? RGCD are top tier game publishers. Yeah, Hazemaker is correct. They are. What? Uh, you sure that's the site? R yeah, it's, it's RGCD. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's, it's probably in the in the manual. Uh, R there you go. dot co.uk. There you go. Not uh, .com. RGCD.co.uk. There you go. Everyone. We don't want we don't want anyone going to the wrong site. We don't want you sending your money to Nigeria or someplace for some prince. Down on his luck. There they are. Oh yeah. Oh, you know, this is the one. Tiger Claw. Let's see. And it's a steal Let's for these games. Check these prices. The Power price Glove Reloaded is only uh, 15, 15 pounds. 16 pounds. I don't know that's why nothing. they have two there. 15 slash 16. Tiger Claw also 15, 16. Hmm. All right, let me go full screen on the Tiger Claw. This, this, hold on to your hats here because it's Tiger Claw's packaging. Now, this, this is the one you may get in trouble for. So, yeah, open it up. Boom. Shuriken. Shuriken. <laughs> <laughs> that, how amazing of is that? Of course, it is. It is only rubber. So, uh, it, just so everyone knows, this is not illegal. It is only rubber. But again, two two buttons. You get a little. You know. You know. This reminds me of like the old, old Ultima games. You'd open the box. You had the cloth map. You had all this these other goodies in there. It was like uh, this digital age where all you do is you click a you click a button, buy now, and then it downloads. You don't get any of this. This is this is like taking me right back. Oh, here we go. Nothing like a real floppy. So Tiger Claw, um, if you haven't seen the game, it, it is basically the reincarnation of Bruce Lee, the Atari 8-bit game. <laughs> uh -huh. oh, that one of my all-time favorites. Back in the big. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good game. It's a it's a great game actually. It's it's a lot of fun. Ah, oh, that zip. Ooh, zip it up. Oh, hermetically sealed. Get a manual. Bet it. Oh, oh, timber. <laughs> Stickers, postcard, postcard, and how to play. You know, of course, none of us would ever read these manuals. Now, now we want to read manuals, but back in the day, we we wouldn't. Yeah, exactly. Now it's like having. Now we would. Uh, give me, where's the disc? Where's the disc? <laughs> I want to play. So you, 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 you want to play these games? I, I you, Anthony, you, you're, yeah. dude, to be honest, you're going to be blown away by them. Because uh. Lazy Cow, the guy who made them, is like a super, super talented dude. He's amazing. You're going you're gonna to flip. You're going to flip. So how do you like the packaging? Nice. Dude, I, like, I, I'm already on the site, dude. The, the order's going in tonight. Nice. <laughs> this is going to be my gift to myself when I get, when I get home. Down in Florida, it's gonna be sitting. It's gonna come in the mail. It's gonna be like Christmas. <laughs> it's gonna be like Christmas. Nice, I say. So, um, yeah. So yeah, we're you know we'll play those games in a minute. Before Sorry. we do that, I, I'm gonna take a little break. Oh, you're gonna take a little break? No problem. I'll let you talk to our people. Do, do not forget. Do not to, forget to, to turn, turn away. We don't microphone. want a naked gun <laughs> moment. You don't need to hear me humming and doing <laughs> what I'm doing. And then we'll open the and then we'll open the rest. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we need another beer, too. Dude, I'm not finished with the first one. Are oh, you not finished with the first one yet? Nope. All right. Um, you still buy CDs? You're, are you off? You want me to test it? Did I say something? Yeah, you're, you're off. Uh, I'm going to add audio input capture. There. Now you should have music back. Sorry about that, guys. I didn't know you had your, your music. Um, Hail to Dust Bunker. Yo, thanks, Alexander. Yeah, this is my this is my parents' basement. They haven't changed it since they moved in in 1968. It's good stuff. <laughs> it's good stuff. Lazy Cow are top tier devs. Lazy Cow is amazing. 
How do you get an 880K floppy disk replicated? Oh, you use Xcopy. Xcopy or Marauder, my two favorite copy programs on the Amiga. Um, you can just imagine someone in their bedroom duplicated them? Yeah, totally. They, he did, I'm sure. <laughs> That's hilarious, Vic, uh, Vicky. So cheap, you might as well buy the Commodore 64 versions too. You're right, Purple Haze Maker. I'll, I'll remind Anthony of that. You still buy CDs? FS Phil? Me too. That's awesome. Yeah, I know. Itchin, there was a new Bruce Lee game released a few days ago for the Commodore 64. I have to check that out. I gotta check that out. Yo, Vamped Amiga. What's up, brother? Great to see you. You can't get enough of the Bruce Lee Haze Maker? Nice, dude. Nice. All right, I'm back on. I'm back. Manuals are for quitters, says Joe Stady. I'm back. <laughs> did, you turn, did you turn it back on? Yo, uh, Air I Yuri so. in the house. Air did Yuri, I turn my it back man. On? <laughs> Wait, go, give, give me a test. Test, test, test. Yeah, you look good. Somebody said something about they buy CDs still? Yeah, I'm totally. the same way, man. I still buy CDs too. I, you know, up until up until uh, December when I got a new car, the only way I could listen to music <laughs> in my car <laughs> was through my six disc CD changer. It's, it's insane. I actually I went to a ten dollar to get in music festival. I ended up spending like forty dollars on Screaming Orphans CDs and shirt. Nice. So they 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 definitely lynched me. Uh, and and I, I kind of felt like like I got attacked and 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 got robbed, but I didn't get robbed because their CDs are awesome. So, nice. Yeah, I still buy CDs. I'd rather have the disc in my hand. I can always make MP3s from it if I want to. Exactly. And then I got it there. I, I don't like just handing money to people for a bunch of ones and zeros that they can take away from me. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing like the physical copy, and it's as for archival purposes too. Like I, a lot of the digital stuff I bought, I'm just I don't even like remember that I have it, or you know it can get lost very easily lost. But like it's always the CDs are like always on my. Right. You can see my dad's CDs see, up there. Oh, a bunch right there. And the other thing is, I mean, you had a music festival, of course, you bring it. You know, the band's there. I got them autographed. It was, it's great. I mean, um, I I love. I mean, I guess from an environmental thing, you know. It's less impactful not to have stuff like that, but I'm, I'm old school. I'm going down, so I'm swinging that chain till I go down. <laughs> Comatron Marauder. Dude, I used to love Marauder. That was a great copy program. They're asking how you can copy these floppy disks. Like Lazy Cow must have been in, in his, uh, Marauder, his house. Marauder, there was also uh, X Copy, of course. X Copy, yeah. yeah. X -copy. Marauder was earlier than X Copy was, was the later one. That, yeah. Argy Bargy, um, Argy Bargy says Skull. Wait, what did they say? There it is. Skull. Yeah, Skull is, um, Skull, did it, Skull must be, uh, from either Norway or Finland. But Skull. Skull, mm -hmm. Argy Bargy. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got to finish his beer soon, because I'm ready for the next one. David, yo, 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 what's up, David Waltz? Great to see you. Oh, yeah, Pixel, Vicky, uh, still buys CDs and vinyl. She's a real media... Yo, Vicky, if I were to turn the camera right now, you, you would see... We're surrounded by... You we would, got more vinyl hold on, in here. Hold on. I should. You only buy vinyls? When my dad comes home... I'll tell you guys what. When my dad comes home, I'll give you... He'll give you a tour of his vinyl collection. Let me just turn the camera around really quick, and then we'll open up this box from a 1200net and then we'll play some games. Uh, the box. Hang on. I'm going to pet the box. Pet the box. <laughs> All right, let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. Everyone, I'm gonna. I'm going handheld. So hold on to your hats. Um, it, this it's it's big, right? The this camera's big on the screen, Anthony. Hmm. This camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So here we go. I am. Uh, there's some CDs. There's a lot of CDs down here as well. He's I'm got gonna, reels. <laughs> I am trying and not. He's got reels. Of there's music. there there there's some vinyl for you, Vicky. There's some vinyl on the top. Those are quarter inch uh, open reels for my dad's dough quarter. You can see some cassettes there, some CDs, but this is this is I'd say this is about maybe maybe at best one quarter of his record collection. Uh, you know, over here we got laser discs. That's my laser disc collection. Uh, those that's how I studied movies to get into the biz. Uh, some more VHS. We got mini discs up there. I, I can zoom in on the mini discs. Mini disc is a format that my dad my dad loves the mini discs. So um, yeah, when when Dad comes home, man, he will he will be happy to to show you around his basement. He's very very proud of his basement. Lots of uh, lots of cool stuff here. There's some this plant this plant is 70 years old. I'm not joking. 
<laughs> it's, it's been it was my grandma's it was my grandma's um, cactus. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna redock redock the camera and then we are going to um, open up this package. Yeah, you know, uh, actually, when I was moving down to Florida, I had I had a whole bunch of records and figuring out how to pack them so they arrived safely. I actually bought two of these like cases from you know the company. I'm sure it's not Victrola. I'm sure that that company name is just owned by somebody and put on stuff, but it's, yeah, they actually sell record cases for, you know. For holding the records. For holding yeah. them and, you know, protecting them. Well, well, well actually, while, while I'm at the camera, hold on, let me, I'm going to, this is for you. Uh, so you saw the quarter inch over there. I can open up. I was at F35. Okay, so you can see my dad's quarter inch hanging out over there. That is just, that. I mean, I, that, that is just the hottest stuff right there. You can see it there in the distance. He's got, he's got his turntable up there. He's got his mini disc recorder. He's yeah, uh, the, the, the Tecmo guy would have a field day in, in this basement. Yeah, the Tecmo <laughs> guy. Yeah, this is definitely Tecmo and approved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right, let me redock the camera. Sorry for the shaky camera work there. You know, we got to redock it on the tripod. Let me make sure Anthony's in focus there. And we're back in focus. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> we're in focus. All right, time to open up more goodies. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's get to the good stuff. Hardware. Let's open up some more goodies, and then we'll have to drink another beer too. So I uh, let's see. So Anthony, now you're gonna have to, you're Jesus. gonna have to operate. I have like a quarter of this thing left. Here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the mini me. I'm calling it the mini me. Pros from the Netherlands. Nice, dude. Here we go. <laughs> a shoulder cam. Nice, dude. Um, if you're not from the vinyl era, you are not from Amiga era. True. True. No problem, Vicky. My, when my dad comes home, he'll give you the tour, Vicky. He'll, like, he'll, he'll he's gonna be very excited to, to show you off. I don't know what Anthony's up to now. <laughs> You're from the cassette Shoulder era? Shoulder cam. Nice. Shoulder cam, I like it. Too many mice here. Um, whole Amiga, yeah, vinyls and CDs for sure. Um, uh, Zach Kath is asking how many Amigas you have, Anthony. Um, well, I know at one point... There's shoulder cam. Yeah, then you got to pan, pan right. I had a, about... Oh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to work. No, I think you got to hold it. Yeah, no. Okay. It was a good idea. Um, I, I know I had probably about seven or eight one thousands. But I know, like, I gave one to you, I gave one to John, I gave one to my brother. Whoa. All right, so this is package fresh in from Phil at a1200.net. This is my, what I pledged for. Amiga, oh, check out, look at the nice, the nice package here. So, this is this is the box with the actual Amiga CD32 colored case in it, which I'm super excited about. And here are the the black CD32 keys. Nice, nice work there. Nice pan, Anthony. Good job, dude. <laughs> nice and slow and steady. I dig. I'm gonna turn this towards you. DCC was also good. Oh yeah, mini disc was especially good for tape arts. I, mini disc is great. Amiga Dad Vada is still online for yeah. Uh, he'll be back, man. He'll be he's at a train show right now. He'll be back soon. He's buying more toy trains. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he's let's... into those like we're into Amigas. Exactly. All right, here Which we go. Which is another cool hobby to me. I I I own a, a few uh, model trains myself. Model trains are pretty amazing. All right, here we go. Opening up. Look at that. Whoa, this got candy in it too. And a little, uh... Is that, that is, so, that, okay, uh, so here we go. So, this is the, the key, the key puller. You can also groom yourself with it. <laughs> These are the clips for the larger keys, like the, like the tab key. Um, so space bar. Space bar. They have uh, replacement springs. This is rad. They also, dude, we got gummy bears. They also toss candy in there to rot your teeth. And, uh, oh, of course. Chupa Chups from Zool. We all know Zool, the classic Amiga game. That that that's a nice little touch right there, Phil. That that's impressive, Phil. I'm uh, that's that is a very nice touch. That is awesome. And then more of the clips. This is all explained in the video on our channel about the Amiga keycaps. And here, wow, we got a lot of clips in here. And check this out. Here is the. Oh, this is gray. This is sick. Whoa. Focus, Anthony. Frame it up. 
Frank pulled away a little further away. There you go. There you go. That, I mean, that is just gorgeous. It's so hard to see, you know, on camera. The little webcam doesn't quite do it justice. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. I want to see if I got a CD32 badge in there somewhere. That These are nice uh, rear caps for the back of the case. This is sick. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. And then is it, oh, it's got signatures on the inside, too. Let's see whose signature is on it. We got uh, RJ Michael's signature. Who else is there? Uh, Dave Needle. Oh, rest in peace. That is just awesome. Um, Mr. Nicholson's. Uh, who else? David Pleasance. That is redonk. That is a sick case right there. <laughs> uh, oh, they're asking if you fixed. No, Anthony's 1000 still not fixed. What is it? Your oh, 4000, sorry, yeah. 4000, yeah, no. Yeah. Dude, this is, I mean, I don't know, Anthony, let's see. I, I mean, I, my, my 1200 is extremely original, and I don't really plan on changing it, but I'm going to, I think my plan for this, I'm either going to put a, um, I'm going to put either a Raspberry Pi in it and make it like this rad, like emulated Amiga, or I'm going to put, I don't know what else I could, I could put the, uh, a vamp, the, the standalone vampire in it. That, that would be it's sick. It's got the, the ventilated, uh, Expansion port cover. Yeah, because when a lot of people put accelerators in the trapdoor port, they uh, they just leave the door off because they need you need cooling power for those 060s, you know. But this uh, this perforated Actually, port. Actually, I don't know the 060. The 060 did not have a problem. Oh, really? With, with heat. No. Really? The 060, from what I recall from back in the day, and I've never had an 060 and a 1200, but because the 060 is so big compared to, you know, the O30, mm -hmm. the thermal signature of it is actually the same as an O30. The O40 was the hot shit. Oh. The O40 is as big as the O60, but it's extremely hot. Gotcha. And I don't know things like Vampire. And, I, and of course, things like the the PowerPC board, which has an O60 and a PowerPC on it. Yeah, those, you, you would have heat issues. I know... Um, the only person that I know who had a, an 060 and a 1200, he, he basically put uh, taller feet to lift the machine up a bit off the table. Oh, yeah, yeah, to get some airflow going. The mother load, right? Yo, Retro Man Cave, how's it going, dude? You're always looking good, too, my man. Um, yeah, good, yeah, that's a good question. Is the Amiga 500 version of the case almost finished? Um, yeah, I don't know. That's a great question. Nigel's still waiting on the Vampire 2 standalone, so are we. But I, so, Anthony, at the end of March, we might have a special Westchester Amiga user group meeting because our main man, uh, Manny, who was a beta tester for Apollo Team, he's got, he's got a standalone. He's nice. got a standalone Vamp 2. Yeah, dude. I, I can't wait to see that sucker. I mean, from having the Ultimate 64, uh, I'm kind of really looking forward to anything that no longer requires living on the Amiga. But I, what I'm hoping is they eventually do something like the Ultimate 64, where it's actually like a board that just conforms to go into a, an Amiga case. Yo, Roar, good night, my man. Always a pleasure to have you, Roar. I miss you, buddy. Sleep well, say hi to the girls. Fishbot, how's it going? Dude, no apologies necessary, Fishbot. Oh, dude. Fishbot, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Dude, look at this. Oh, look at those gray keys. This is gonna look. Well, I guess they didn't. Sick. Looks like they didn't put the springs or anything in them. Yeah, no, so, it doesn't have the board in. We're not, no, so yeah. th these are. This is just a holder for the right. keys because what they did, what they didn't oh, want. Oh, okay. Yeah, they didn't want the keys gotcha. to uh, to bounce around. So this is like literally well, just like a holder. Looks like someone bounced around anyway. <laughs> yeah, but there's much better than the, like throwing them in yeah. the bag, you know. So um, yeah. So oh, dude, this is ridiculous. This is awesome. Well, let me get the case. This is gonna look so sick. Now this case is already screwed together. So you have to, which is another really nice case. Another nice feature of these cases is it's got, it's got screws that, uh, and it's got uh, receivers for the screws. So there's no like, no more of that snapping. Yeah, not like what Commodore did with just the screws bite into the plastic. Oh man, that dude, look at that. Is that is that hot or what? <laughs> yeah. Um, 
Jan, I think Phil, I think Batch 2 did reach the goal, if I'm not mistaken. Binary Bond says the 060 is 3.3 volts versus 5 volts like the others. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's a lower voltage chip. And from what I recall, when in the 060 came out, everyone said is its thermal signature is the same as an 030. And I know, I mean, I have 030s in my 1200 that the 030 has no problem. Yeah, Robert Robert wants one too. Yeah, Brother Bill votes for a vampire in here. A vampire would be sick in here. Although they do have a vampire style case as well. I, I do. I want to find the CD32 Giga, the badge up there. I wonder where it is. We got some extra keys. As you saw in the video, they, they supply you with different return keys depending on which keyboard you have. It's like uh, two space bars. Yeah, two different size space bars because if you have a 600, you have the, mm -hmm. the, the shorter space bar. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that, dude, is that gorgeous or what? I mean, come on. That is freaking awesome. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is freaking awesome. The keyboard's great. Yeah, totally. As talk dog has got, as, as talk dog, dog, as, as talk dog, <laughs> my Raspberry Pi 3 is running smooth at the moment. Still waiting for a decent NUC to Win 10 Enterprise tweak for um, an, an EMU machine for the road. Yeah, totally. Oh, um, Binary put a Mr. FPGA in his 1200 repo. Dude, I wonder if a Mr. would fit in here. I would love to get a Mr. The Mr., so like the Sensible World of Soccer guys, like the one emulation machine that they that they approve of is the Mr. They're like, dude, it is, like you can't tell the difference between a real Amiga and the Mr. I, I, would, I would love to get a Mr. one day. Wow. So that that is freaking rad. I mean, I just, that's hot. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> there I am. It's a beauty, right? You love the CD32 style features 8 bet? Nice. Nice. All right, I'm going to switch back over to uh, webcam here. Nice. All right, so there you go. We unboxed it. That was sweet. <laughs> dude, I think dude, I think it's time to play some games, right? Let me fix the little feet. I wonder Oh no, I wonder Oh no, I've been muting the music the whole time, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> no sense the music has been muted the whole time until now. I'm, I'm still learning the new software, but no, keep it, keep it, uh, keep it playing. That's fine. Yeah. No, I, mean... I was wondering why no one was commenting about the music. Now, now I know. As, as this is not my usual stream setup, as most of you know. <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating, man. That's really frustrating. Is it still playing? You got the YouTube up there. Cool. Yeah. All right, tell you what, I'm gonna, I am gonna mute I'm myself. Look, I'm looking up the Mister right now. <laughs> Oh, dude, the Mister is amazing. Um, it's uh, it's an, originally an Atari ST FPGA thing. But well, that's the ST it. Yeah. in it. Yeah, exactly. I, right. I know there was Miss, but the, um, is Mister a newer version? Um, yeah, dude, I, I, that's so, such a bummer that we, we were supposed to have music playing the whole time and, and <laughs> I had it muted. <laughs> um, I'm learning. I'm learning the, the new the new lingo. I, I usually. I usually stream a much different way. Anthony, let's have, let's have a gummy bear. These are uh, Haribo. Haribo minis. <laughs> oh, Vicky said, Vicky did say there was no music. Sorry, she sounded like nagging Amiga wife there. Oh, man. No worries, Vicky. I missed that. I'm sorry. Oh, did, did we buy the Stephen Jones uh, case? I, I think I might I might buy the Checkmate 1500. Um, I was gonna buy it if he didn't reach his goal to help him get over the goal. The, the thing is, I have I now have two new Amiga 1200 cases and an Amiga 500 case. So to be totally honest, I'm like completely tapped out. <laughs> you know, I already have I've got more cases than I have Amigas at this point. <laughs> so um, I was gonna do it to help Steven if he needed help to reach his goal, but he got the goal, so I was gonna kind of go into a holding pattern. Uh, Steve and Kathy said they have, um, oh no, we want red. Shit. I wonder if we're still live. Oh, CMA.
Uh, I'll start it again. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what is happening to YouTube here. Um, actually, 